Morning world, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's the 29th of April, 2013. It's the end of the month. The moon's at the end of Sagittarius. It's void for about another four or five hours. Then it moves into Capricorn, hits Pluto over the next 24 hours. And yes, as the next day goes on, so there is going to be a slowly increasing degree of emotional focus, sharpness, intensity, and even potential eliminativeness. But it's not going to be a big deal compared to astrological phenomena of recent times. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun. I'm looking at, for various reasons that I'm not going to go into now, I'm looking at what cars individual sun signs drive. Now, please feel free to contribute. I'd love to set up some type of forum on this. If I were to run through the sun signs of the zodiac and just have a quick look at what cars they drive from a fun point of view, but I'm sure there's going to be an element of truth in this. So where do we start? Well, let's let's go backwards. What cars do Pisces drive? Um, well, I would think they drive things with lots of nice rounded corners and no angles. And they drive cars that are predominantly blue-green, I would imagine. And they have interiors that flow and purr and smooth out. A nice, leisurely, easy-riding sedan or something like that. Aquarians, I imagine, will drive anything that's different. Anything that's got a different shape than normal, a different colour than normal. And particularly if it's got lots of gadgets, including hi-fi tech gadgets, you won't see an Aquarius in, in a normal Ford or a normal Vauxhall. Capricorns, well, there's no point in even beginning to talk about Capricorns and car unless you're going to talk really uber high quality or absolute pits. So you're either going to see them driving around in a 1.2 litre Fiat, a baby Mini or a Mini Moak or something like that, or else it's it, they're not even going to waste your time with the fast sports cars with Capricorn. They're just going to go for the Bentley. And if it's not the Bentley, it might be the Rolls, although that's a bit ostentatious, and the Jaguar is far too flamboyant, but the Bentley, and possibly the higher range Mercedes. Sagittarians, Sagittarians don't care what their vehicle looks like, as long as it's big enough for them to have a bed in the back, and as long as it's got a big petrol tank and a, and a, and a sat nav that goes all around the world, and... Uh, and uh, Sagittarians can adapt. They can deal with anything, but they do like space. They don't like cars that are cramped or tight. So they normally live, drive around the country in an RV or, or in, in Britain in a live-in truck. Uh, Scorpios and cars, I don't really care as long as it's black. All right? Black, shiny interior. Black, shiny exterior. Shaded windows. Obligatory sunshades for Scorpios when driving, even in the winter. Uh, Librans, I'm going to get in trouble for that one. Librans in cars, ah, well, what do Librans drive? What type of cars do Librans drive? They drive the um, smooth runners, the ones that you don't feel the vibration. Librans drive the ones that are safe and steady and do a steady 30, 35 miles to the gallon. And non, not, not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not out of place. Librans drive normal cars. Virgos, Virgos will drive the eco car. They'll drive the car that's most fuel economical, most effective and efficient. Not bothered what it looks like. Uh, they don't go for ostentation. They go for practicality and economy. And these are the people who will always buy the hybrids, given the choice. Uh, Leos. Phew, Leos and cars, look, it helps if it's a bright, bright vibrant colour and it helps if it's big. But the secret with Leo is the, 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 the decor in the inside of a car, the upholstery, the seats. Uh, the thing with Leos and cars is that it's got to be plush. It's got to have a really good passenger seat if your partner's a Leo or a driver's seat if it's you that's driving. You've got to feel comfortable in the chair. It's got to be the throne. Cancers and cars, as long as it's got a, a, a table that swings out so you can eat your food off, as long as it's got seat belts in the back for the kids. Cancers like family cars, like a Woolsey, a sedan, a Humber, or, or I don't know what it would be in America. Um, um, nothing ostentatious, nothing small. 
Cancers like vehicles that are solid and secure, not necessarily fast, but that cannot be rolled over. Gemini's doesn't matter what cars they like, as long as it's got an attachment in there for them to put their mugs into, and as long as it's got the latest gadgets for them to play to, and a little screen and a little mirror, um, Gemini's like gadgets. Taurian's cars, they like practicality. They will go for the solid, no-nonsense, fuel economic, sensible, common, average, grounded, down-to-earth vehicle. And Aries... Aries don't care what car they drive, as long as it's red. Here you go, folks. I'm probably going to get in loads of trouble for that. Feel free to contribute. See you soon. Bye.